Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Jersey. I am a lifestyle blogger. When you subscribe to my channel, you'll be introduced to old timey skills, natural living, DIY, and cooking from scratch. Let's jump right in today. We will be learning how to make mercury glass. Just like these jars that I got from the Dollar Tree. All these were made with mercury glass technique. As you will see, it hides what's inside very well. You probably have seen many of these jars and vases in Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and even Walmart has been carrying mercury glass for the last several years. Why pay expensive prices when you can make it yourself? Let me show you a few things that I have done before we jump into the technique. This I got an old mirror for $1.05. I chalk paint it and then the glass that was in it I did the mercury glass on the inside of it, put it down, and this is the outside, the side you can continually to wash. Here is one of my favorite ones. It weighs a ton. Very old, very antique. I paid $2.05 for this one. Same thing. It had a regular glass in it, and I did the mercury glass on the back, and I left it more like chippy looking so it would be more of an antique look because some mercury glass does look like this when it gets through the ages. I got these from the thrift store, 40 cents each. And these were 35 cents each. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. And you get E6000 and you glue it on and you can make a candle holder. Very easy to do. And when I buy the mercury glass, I always buy two cans. There's nothing worse than starting a project. Then you think of more things that you want to make, you run out, and I prefer to have it all at once. I will leave the link in the description for these. I got these during the summer. When I do mercury glass, I like to do quite a bit at once. So I did all of them, the full dozen, and you can see one is already missing. What I do with these, I fill them with lavender, homemade items, wrap a little bow on them and give them as gifts. So if I need a quick gift, I will grab one or two of these, put baking soda in one with the little essential oil. I have pounds and pounds of lavender heads that I've grown over the years. I will fill this up with lavender, put a purple little bow on it, you can fill this with seeds. I'm going to fill one of these with my loaf of seeds and another one with flower head seeds that I've saved last summer and I'm going to give them to a friend. You can put all kinds of items in here. Epsom salts with a little essential oil and you can make up quite a few of these and give them to a friend for spa day. It's endless, but when you do them, I like to do them all at once. I can go in my cabinet, grab these. I have baskets that I buy all through the year. It's so easy, literally, I can make a beautiful gift for someone in under five minutes and practically everything that I have in the house. This is round two. Round one did not take, which is okay because I have more glassware I'm going to be doing. Now I'm circling back to the very first one I did and I'm gonna give it its second coat. And here I don't want it ripping. This will be its final coat, I'm pretty sure. I don't want it super silver. And then what you missed in the first part that didn't take you just gingerly dab it off. Now it's not taking as much. For one, it's not as cold. And two, this is a second coat. Won't be so much more to take off. And that one is done. I'm going to do the other two in fast mode. And then we'll do the little jars, second coat. And then we'll go back to the very first coat of new items that I have. Now 
And that's a good thing when the water runs like that. Let it do its thing for a minute. Just let it puddle, let it drip. You can dab, never, ever, ever wipe, ever. Because then you'll be back to having just a shiny silver finish. I like the bubbles, reminiscent of natural blown glass. So I leave it. You can pop a few like that, or you can leave them. Make sure you grab from the bottom. Here I am concentrating on the bottom. As you will notice, I did not dab any off of the first owl jar. I'm not going to do this one either because I'm gonna circle back in a moment and do it again. These are the two containers I got from the Dollar Tree and I glued them with E6000 and let them sit overnight. You can either do the lid first and let it drip this way, or you can do the bottom, let it drip this way. If you do not want to get any inside, I do not. So I'm probably gonna treat this as a two-part. And I know I'll be coming back to a second coat on this one. It's definitely not dark enough to my liking. Now I still want to be able to see the crackle underneath from the other jar. So I'm basically done with the top. I'm going to let this dry a moment. This is an antique frog. I call it a frog. It was probably a... This was probably a Parmesan cheese thing. I got it for 35 cents at the thrift store. Every spring I put my zinnias in it, and I love this. So I put tape on it. I didn't want to contaminate the inside, not that it mattered. And I have an extra plastic lid. I'm gonna let this sit just a moment. Remember, dry spot each time. Here we are in the final time. As you can see, I forgot to put the lid back on, but it really didn't matter because I have the tape. And I will not be using this for food or water to drink out of. I think that's a wrap. And we are back inside. These are the three that we did today. They came out really nice. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use these as coasters. Save the wood tables. And they are plenty dark. I like the way they turned out. These are the salt and pepper jars from the Dollar Tree. As you can see, I labeled them DE and charcoal. These get sprinkled in my African Grey and Sun Conyers food to control worms naturally. And these are the owls that I will put apple cider vinegar in and put it by my fermenting jars and one by my garbage disposal. And these are little gnat catchers. They came out really cute. And this is the antique Parmesan jar that I'm going to use for my zinnias. This came out really nice. I can't wait to get my flowers in this spring. And these are the jars that I picked up for 35 cents each. I'm gonna put baking soda with a little essential oil in one and keep it in the bathroom. And the other one I will probably put bath salts in. Stay tuned tomorrow. I'm going to be making a whole video on all the things that you can make into gifts from all the mercury glass items that you made.
And these are the two pieces that I got from the Dollar Tree and I E6000 them. And then I turned them into mercury glass. If you have made it this far, thank you so much. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel today. Come join me and become part of our community. Hit the bell, then over to the right, hit all notifications bell. You will be notified each time I upload. I promise to listen to what you have to say. This whole channel is about you. How can I add value to you and your life? Why pay expensive prices when you can make it yourself? Let's jump right in and head outside. No, let's not head outside. Let's talk about what drip. You can wipe the top a little bit. No, nope, I shouldn't. You can dab, never, ever, ever wipe, ever. Here's I showed you from the Dollar Tree that we E6000 glue. These are the two, these are the two containers that we got from the, these are bulb jars that I get for 35 cents from the thrift store. These are bulb jars that I get for 35 cents from the thrift store. These are bulb jars that I get for 35 cents from the thrift store. And what I do is, what I do. <laughs> And when it stops raining, I will do the tutorial.